Burns Center. Welcome to week five of our Perennial of the Week series. This week's Perennial of the Week is Hosta. Hosta is one of the easiest, most versatile plants to use in the garden. Uh, you, can, you can use it in the sun, you can use it in the shade, uh, very adaptable even to soil types. And you know there's a few other plants that have such a wide range of different color combinations of the foliage and everything from really small to the really big. So there's really a Hosta for any situation you have in your garden. Now what I'd really like to do during this video is I really want to highlight to you some of the hostas that we've been growing here at Van Wilgens. Uh, we have over 25 varieties that we grew for this year and uh, I want to show you some of the neat and the unusual uh, ones that we have on the benches. Uh, the first one is the one in my hand here. This is called Secret Ambition. Secret Ambition is actually a fragrant hosta so the flowers on this uh, are actually going to have a very nice light fragrance to them uh, which can make it a very good cut flower. And the flower color is going to be kind of a pale lavender, but you, it rises above this wonderful powder blue with creamy yellow edged margins, and this will get to be about a medium sized hosta uh, in the garden. And you know, there's a lot of, as I mentioned, so many different kinds of hostas right in front of us here. We've got this wonderful gold colored Key West hosta. Now this particular hosta, I actually have this one in my garden, the leaves on this can get very large. Uh, in the garden. It might take a couple seasons, uh, but it fills out to be a great, great specimen plant and it retains this wonderful bright golden color uh, throughout the entire growing season. And this will also get uh, pale lavender flowers to it uh, later in the season as well. Now one of the nice things too about these flowers is, is that, you know, uh, if anybody who's trying to attract hummingbirds, hummingbirds do go for the flowers uh, of hostas. Another great category of hostas is, you know, there's a lot of like minis and uh, very, very small hostas out there. And I have a couple of them to show you. We have this one great one. This is called Cherry Tomato. Cherry Tomato is going to have these wonderful long strap-like leaves with a green and white variegation to them. But they also get a lot of red speckling on the undersides of the leaves and also on the flower stems as well. And this is going to stay very small. This is only going to grow to be approximately maybe five to six inches high in the garden if that and it's probably going to get to be about a foot wide and it'll send these wonderful lavender flowers uh, in August. Another, another nice mini is this one here called Sparkler and Sparkler is going to have a little bit more of a cupping to the leaf. It's also going to be a green and white variegation to it with lavender flowers but this one will also stay to about six inches in height as well for a very small garden or, or containers. Some other really interesting varieties we have here at the Garden Center is going to be something like this small golden yellow. Now I showed you the Key West, which is going to be a very large growing hosta. This is a nice hosta called Maui Buttercups, which is a very great gold small hosta. This is only going to get to be probably about maybe 10 inches in the garden and about maybe up to 18 inches wide, a little bit more. But another great hosta that will retain its color very well even going through the summer. Uh, for something a little bit different, a little bit interesting, is this Neptune. Now Neptune's got these long kind of spade-like leaves and this is going to have a great waviness and uh, rippling uh, to the sides of the leaves. And as you can see, you know, it's beginning of August here and the blue color is really holding well on this. And this will be about a medium uh, to medium large hosta in, in the garden. Now some of the things that you can actually combine with hostas, uh, you know, keep in mind a lot of your ferns uh, combine well with hostas. You can also do a lot of the shade grasses like this Carrots Evergold. Uh, you can also do coral bells. Coral bells will actually, especially these purple leafed ones, will match really well with things like the Key West or the Maui Buttercups. So continuing on uh, with, with our hosta here, uh, we have this wonderful Irish Luck. Irish Luck is going to be a nice wavy large green hosta almost like a rich, rich apple green. Uh, and it's another one of the hostas that actually is going to have some fragrance to it. So it's another hosta that you're going to want to plant in areas where you're going to be able to smell the fragrance of this every time you walk past it. You know, a couple other great plants that uh, accent hostas really, really well is this wonderful uh, shell pink lamium. Shell pink lamium is going to get these great clusters of, of pale pink flowers on the ends of the stems. And what's great about lamium is that it's going to be a nice ground cover for even dry shade. Uh, fills out really well and uh, just another one that you know combines well with the hostas, the ferns, the coral bells and uh, even, the, even the grasses. And one other accent I want to point out and these are just getting ready to come into bloom and it's going to be this turtle head uh, which is actually a native plant around here. You will find this growing out in the woods 
and this plant is going to get flower clusters on the ends of the stems, almost even similar to a snapdragon. Uh, but the plant gets its name from the shape of the flowers. They kind of do look like a, like a turtle's head. Uh, this will be a little taller in the garden, getting to about two feet. And, uh, you know, we've gone through quite a few hostas today. I want to finish up with a couple of more interesting ones uh, to share with you. Uh, first one being is this great stained glass. Stained glass has just got this great yellow variegation to it that takes over most of the leaf. A little bit of green hinting on the outside, but you know you combine it with something like these dark leafed coral bells and it makes a really, really pops in the garden. A couple of others, especially speaking of pop for the garden, is this Hosta Loyalist. Hosta Loyalist is going to be on the small end, uh, small to medium Hosta, but you just got this strong, strong white variegation that really stands out from it. So if you actually plant this in a spot where it's a little shadier, a little darker, uh, it'll help to really brighten up some of those areas. And if you want big, one of the biggest we have here at the Guard Center is going to be this wonderful Blue Angel. Blue Angel is going to be a blue leaf hosta. Now one of the things to remember about all your blue leaf hostas is the more shade they get, the more intense that blue coloring uh, comes out in the foliage. But Blue Angel can easily get to be, have leaves that can easily be up to 18 inches or more long. Uh, and it can form a clump easily four feet wide. So really ni nice big hosta. And then last but not least, we have uh, Blue Muffin, and Blue Muffin is just going to be another one that's going to be a great blue hosta, kind of get a powdery color to it, and it's going to get lavender flowers that will come out in August, but this will also get that nice red speckling on the flower stem and on the undersides of the leaves, uh, you know, which will add a little, a little bit of extra interest uh, to the plants in the garden. So hopefully we've shown you something here to tempt you and get you to come down and see what we have for hostas here at the Garden Center. I'm Henry for Van Wilgens. Hope to see you down here soon. Oh,